Good morning and welcome to Keswick. Today we are here to see this beautiful guest house situated just a stone's throw away from the town centre. The property behind us has six wonderful ensuite bedrooms and a two bedroom ground floor um, owner's accommodation. It comes complete with a few parking spaces, but we are literally just, as I say, stones away, stones throw away from town. And that means that you have prime location um, if you were looking at this as a potential business opportunity. The current owners have lived here for quite a number of years. And as you can see from the unusual architectural styling, there's a bit of history that comes with this property. And it's a very pleasant and most immaculate place I think I've seen in a very long time. So as a guest, I would be very excited to stay here. And you'll see that as the video goes on. So being within easy proximity to town, the transport links are amazing. And anybody that knows Keswick as a tourist destination will know that this is a fabulous place to come and stay. And as such, these guys have been incredibly booked up for a long space of time. Um, and there is always potential for you to be able to grow this business, should this be something you'd be interested in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn around, give you a good tour of everything, and hopefully you like it. Okay, so we're at the Paddock guest house. And you can see in this nice, quiet, pretty area, there's a bit of fell over there in the background. And just over here is the road that leads through into the centre of Keswick. So you've got everything within very, very close proximity. We come into this section. Well, actually, I should probably start off. We've got parking all the way to the side. So I think I'll start off with that. And to the side here, we've got quite a, a large amount of parking, probably three cars. Um, the uh, restrictions are quite limited here because you are just five minutes out of the town. So it's, um, uh, sorry, a few minutes out of the town. So it's uh, a lot easier for your guests to be able to park. And we come into this section here. And as I showed you at the beginning video, beginning part of the video, it's really, really quite interesting because this is an old Quaker meeting house. Um, I believe in a sto a stables at some point. Um, and it's um, really quite architecturally, quite different, quite interesting. So um, starting off at the front here, we've got a, a drying room so that when your guests come and, a, um, and we've had a bit of Cumbrian weather, um, they can keep everything um, outside so that everything can be nice and dry and ready for the next day of walking. So as we uh, come into the house, and I'll uh, take you around and give you a good view of everything. We've got a nice storage cupboard in here and then another storage cupboard in there. Um, we have quite a nice little bathroom in here which is really handy for the ground floor. And then as we come into this kitchen area, we've got a really beautifully um, a finished kitchen. It's actually done to such a lovely standard. And that may even includes a nice double oven and a nice integrated microwave and even a five ring induction hob. And these are all Bosch appliances. So um, very, very good quality. And as is the kitchen, I mean, the work surfacing in here is absolutely lovely. Nice, plenty of light, which is, a, which is a good thing. And then we've got a nice owner's accommodation for their, for their sitting room, which is, again, a nice, big, spacious room and has plenty of windows and plenty of light. So, leading back through from here, because the ground floor, part of it is uh, the owner's accommodation, some of it is, uh, is for um, your guests. So we come into this rather lovely dining room which is set out here for all six of the um, ensuite rooms. And even, which is a usually missed out, um, is a lovely little lounge for your guests, should they want to come and enjoy a bit of space uh, out of the room. And um, yeah, I think that's a, a really lovely addition. I'll just show it back again, so we can have a look at that dining room. It's absolutely lovely. Best thing about staying away in a guest house is, uh, is having a nice breakfast in the morning. And I've been told this is a particularly good one. So this is part of the owner's accommodation. There's two bedrooms. So we've got a double bedroom here with an ensuite over in the corner. Um, and we have this rather lovely bedroom, um, which I think is absolutely, absolutely beautiful, with um, doors to look out onto. A nice courtyard garden, which is lovely. Got a nice um, uh, shed at the back of it. And this is quite a special little area. And especially being off your bedroom, enjoy that sunshine every morning is, is quite nice. So, going upstairs. Now this is where the house gets a little bit quirky. And I'll 
turn back on myself when I've gone up the stairs and just give you a bit of a look. So what we have is this very, very special woodwork. And until the vendors let me know that this was a Quaker meeting house, I kind of was scratching my head a little bit to work out what it was, but you can see the staircase here was very well thought out. Now I'm gonna show you all six of the bedrooms with en suites. This is one of the bedrooms and you've got quite a lot of storage and everything else that you could possibly need. And a lovely ensuite with a well-appointed shower. So if you're all coming on holiday to stay, it's absolutely beautiful. And the one thing I can say in here, it is immaculate. The current owners look after this and it is pristine throughout. So whoever decides to take this on, um, will not be coming in to gut something to get started again. They'll be coming into something which is a, a pretty well-oiled machine um, and well looked after. The lovely thing from this room is you've got fantastic views over to the mountains. Beautiful. Okay, so a nice um, double and a single bed, so that's great for family occupancy. And then a nice larger ensuite which is in, uh, yeah, which is absolutely lovely. So going in further, I mean, as I'm mentioning before about the panelling and everything else, it really does add a little bit of uh, difference to this and quite a quirky feel to it upstairs. And you've got another double, and again with a fitted wardrobe and a nice, well-appointed and white en uh, ensuite. I'm going to show you all six of the rooms because they are all just that slightly bit different for each one. We have this room, that really, really large ceiling and incorporating some of these uh, wooden features as well, as well as that board at the back, which is quite nice. And then a nice size en suite. Now, I'll race through these because there's quite a lot of rooms to see. Again, look at this panelling. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, then as we come into this bedroom here, we have another twin. And again, you can see very current, very up to date. Things like throughout the doors are these nice solid oak doors and really done well. And then we've got a nice plain en suite again. And the view out this way is a different view, but it's very, very pretty nevertheless. And our last remaining room, with loads of storage cupboards along here as well, is this double bedroom, which again is a lovely size and complemented with yet another ensuite. So we've got a rather externally pretty, but doesn't look that big. My first thought when I arrived was, Oh, this is cute, but I didn't think it would be as big as it is. But we've got six double bedrooms, six en suite, two uh, double guest bedrooms, a guest sitting room, and a um, owner's um, kitchen and sitting room as well, and a cloakroom downstairs. I mean, it's absolutely spotlessly decorated and in, in wonderful, wonderful condition throughout. And it is just ready for the right person to take this on, to have this as their next lifestyle opportunity. If this is something that you'd be interested in, please do give us a call on 01900 8222 00, and we will be delighted to discuss this with you further. Thank you.